Alrighty, welcome back. It's reveal day. Uh, Jolene's chassis has been painted here in the shop. Um, basically, we're just going to take a walk around it and show you what it looks like because you're our followers and we appreciate everybody that comments and watches what we do. Um, basically, I said it yesterday. I think I said it best. You don't have to do as I do. You do the way you want to do it. But we're showing you our process because we feel like why not? You should know how we do it so you can do it the way you want to do it. But basically, as we have done it, I've also going to show you at the same time that the proof is in the pudding. Um, the way we do it, we, we get the job done. We think that we're doing it as quickly as possible. Um, and that's why we're showing you. Uh, we do not use a whole bunch of different materials. We do not have a bunch of different tools. We have a grinder. We have a couple grinders. We have a couple DAs. And we have some, a lot of will and want. Um, we have some body fill. We have a little bit of sandpaper. And we're able to get um, a show car finish. And I really feel like there's more people in the world that need to know and are willing and have the will and the want. They are able to do the exact same thing that we're doing and have just as much fun with it. This car is being built for my beautiful Jolene because I said her I would build her a car. And uh, to me, the car is coming along very nicely. Um, have a, show them around, Jolene, show them the chassis. Jolene's very happy with it, I think. And uh, that, that's, that means the most of all that Jolene is happy with what's going on. And it's fun to, as we, me and Jolene are doing this process, Jolene is learning, and I am learning. Um, I am learning also, but Jolene's getting to actually see what's going on, how it's being done, the paper that we're using, the time it takes. I, I really feel like Jolene could run a body shop, and, and the reason being is because she's going through the whole process, and the process that I'm showing, I, I try to simplify it. We're, we're only using four pieces of sandpaper. We're using a 40 grit, an 80 grit, a 220 grit, and a 400 grit. That's all we're using. Um, we, on this chassis, if you've watched it, we've used a 40 grit to start our body filler. We used an 80 grit to smooth it up a little bit further. We've used a one kind of primer. We do not use etch primer. We do not use epoxy. Well, we use it in certain places, but we didn't use epoxy primer on it. We didn't use no sealers on it. We used one primer on it, uh, and basically I showed you that you put enough on that you can get the job done. We've 220 would it, we've guide coated it, we've sanded it with 400, and then we painted it. Uh, we showed you that you do not, but you can if you like. You do not need a big paint gun. You do not need a $400 paint gun. You do not need... Um, a big shop, you do not need any of that stuff to build a car for yourself or for anybody else. I think that we are proving that you do not need much to build a fantastic car, basically. Um, and the people out there that have the will and the want to do this stuff, you can, <laughs> you can. I'm showing you with the tools that we use, the time that we take, um, you can, you can build a car like this, no problem. You can build a better car than this if you want to. And you know what it takes. It takes time, it takes effort, and a little bit of know-how. Um, and that's basically it. I, I really feel that uh, the car that we're building for Jolene, um, Jolene could build a car. She knows um, what to do, what process to do. Um, and if she wanted to do a different way, she most certainly can she most certainly can, just as long as it makes you happy. That's all I'm saying. But it's really nice to finish this chassis because the full process was shown how we did it. It was shown. Um, and, and now, where we're at this point, and it looks like this, every, you know, all the bad stuff that's been said about me, <laughs> or about the what I do, um, they have to eat it because the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. There it is. Um, don't have a great big shop. Don't have a million tools. Um, don't have this big, this big 
paint gun. I don't have a bunch of stuff. I didn't have all the front control arms. I, I didn't have all the, the beautiful rear end. I don't have all this money stuck in this, this project. I do not. Um, what we have is some will and want. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. Basically what I'm saying, um, I'm showing you how I do it. Whether you like it or you don't, I'm showing you that you can do it just as well as I can, basically. You get to walk around it good, Jolene? Good. Are you happy with it? Jolene's very happy with it. We went out supper last night. It was nice to go out with a couple of her friends to just to relax. Um, once you paint something, it's kind of nice just to back off for a little bit. Basically, what we have to do now, you can see Jolene's rear end. Now that she's done the rear end, I'm so happy that she'd taken it a little bit further. Just like we did the chassis, she's taken a little bit further and she's body filled out the pumpkin on it just so it, it matches the chassis. And uh, there's no way to get something to look, you know, really, really, really nice without putting in the time and the effort. And uh, now that she's got that pumpkin done, um, that's the way, you know, that's the way it should be done or that's the way we're going to do it to finish it off. The chassis looks so amazing. We would have not got it to look the way we have gotten it to look without doing what we did. And we showed you the full process and you can do it exactly like we can. Uh, let's take a look at this for a second. You can take a look here and you can see us putting a little bit of filler on it, what it looked like, what it, what it would have looked like. That's what it would have looked like. We didn't want to get in there and finger bomb and do all that stuff. And that's basically where you have to go if you're going for, you know, what can I say? If you're going for a, an award at the Riddler or something like that, you really have to take that process and put it everywhere. And when it comes to that process, that means that process has to be done on the rear end, has to be done on the control arms, it has to be done everywhere. And, and a person can know, like, as I've seen sealed the welds, that would even have to be done better, but I just kind of, what I've done is I've taken a process and I've just tried to back off from doing all the finger sanding and, and mudding it out so you couldn't tell. I just kind of softened the welds up so um, without doing a bunch more work. What, that's kind of what that did. I just backed off from the work and uh, tried to do something or did something that made it look just a little bit better. And uh, basically, if you wanted that to look perfect, you would, you would have ground the welds, we would have filled the welds, and then we have, would have done the exact same process to the chassis. I hope you realize that, but that's what would have been done. But that's what you would have got if we didn't do what we did. And I'm very happy that we did do that because you cannot get the shine on something if you do not do the process that needs to be done to make it the way you want it to look. You basically have to make something, if you want to shine like that, you basically have to make it as smooth as you would paint a car, exact same way. There's, you don't paint things that are rough and they do not come out smooth. Um, you could not get this look out of a powder coater. You don't get that look out of powder coating. Um, it, the texture wasn't there to get it. Um, so we made the texture so we could get what we needed. Um, we have a bunch of front end parts we still got to paint. We got the rear end we still got to flip over and prime. We haven't got the bottom side primed yet. So we got some control arms over here that we got to paint. We got the transmission mount that we got to paint. Um, we end up getting some ball joints this morning. I'll show you. I'm just going to grab one quickly. We got some ball joints this morning at our local Napa store. And uh, I wanted, when I took the ball joints out of the control arms that we had, I wanted, uh, I wanted a grease fitting in them because the ones we had had a grease fitting in them. And it's always nice to have something that you can put a grease fitting in because you can grease it and it lasts longer. Uh, it's a better performing part when you grease something. It's called maintenance. Um, on this one here, when this bolted in the top control arm, on the old ones, it had a grease fitting. There it is right there. There's the top ball joint. They were replaced, and I know they were, were replaced because they had bolts in them just like this. Uh, from factory, if you've got a ball joint that's in from factory, they have, they're riveted in. They're not bolted. So you know if you come to your car, you're playing with your car, and you're, you've got some uh, uh, ball joints that are bolted in, they 
most generally have been replaced because the factory ones have rivets. So, but they've got a grease fitting on them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna get the trusty old drill out, something I don't like to do. I'm gonna drill a hole in the side of that, tap it out and put a grease fitting in that so we can grease them and just like these ones. So basically that's what I've got to do. We're gonna put all new ball joints, top and bottom. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. We've got all new rotors and calip four piston calipers to put on the front of it. Donated by John Wilson, friend of ours. Um, also, now, now, now that we see, you know, thinking we're foolish and we're crazy about slinging the mud around, you know, someone said that, you know, we sling a lot of mud around, well, we're, we're the body shop, the, the, we're, we're it all, we're the fabricators, we're the, you know, we're the welders, we're, we're the designers, we're everything of our own desire. And when it comes time to the motor mounts, we know that they're going to look like the chassis because we've taken the time and filled out that weld going across here. Wolf put a little seam sealer on that. And for someone to say, you know, you put seam sealer on because you're afraid it's going to crack. Well, no, I'm, I'm putting it on there to try to make something look better than it does. <laughs> That's basically it. This is where our grease fitting will come out. There's one that comes out on this side, so we'll know we'll have our grease fitting on that. Now that uh, the chassis looks as good as it does, Joanne's going to come in and fix a couple pits on this, <laughs> on this control arm uh, just because she wants to. Basically, that's it. Uh, yeah, so everything's going really well. We're just kind of leaving the chassis uh, in the paint room for now. We've got a big mess going on. Uh, there's not much. I really want to get a bunch of dust going. I just want to let it set and let it heal. Uh, also, we did not use big dollar paint. It, we bought the most reasonable price paint that we could buy. Um, basically, that's it. You know, we've used the least amount of product, the least amount of time, the least amount of everything that we could to get the job done. Also, when I put when I put the lacquer primer, I had to spray bomb of lacquer primer when I did the body fill and I did the bare metal. This is, this is what was going through my brain. If I went in, it was a place for epoxy. That's where it was. That's, a, that's where the place was for that stuff. But just listen to me for one second. If I went in there and I grabbed the epoxy, grabbed the hardener, mixed it up, put it in the gun, come out and sprayed it, I'd have to go take the epoxy, put the epoxy back, put the hardener back. I'd have to clean the gun out and then I'd have to wait. Where I had the spray bomb, I was able to grab it, shake it, apply it, and paint. <laughs> Basically, that's, that's where I was at. And also, where we were painting the chassis, there's no rust, body fill doesn't rust. There was no rust on the metal, no rust on the body fill. I was just covering it up, and then I sealed it with the paint. Um, that's, that's where I was at with that. Uh, for me to do all the extra work for something that I don't think um, gives me any more, um, that's where I go to. I go to less work and get the same effect. And uh, I'm very happy with it, but now we have to keep going. We have to get all the pieces done, get them painted, get them hung up, and uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow, hopefully. We'll get the chassis pulled out. We'll clean up a little bit. I'm playing with Elvis at the present moment just because of the chassis painted. We're not doing anything in there right now. We're just going to let it heal. Um, I'm just playing with this piece here. Uh, we've got this primed. And uh, it was welded, 40, 80 on the body fill. And it was primed, and, and, and here it sets. Now I'm just kind of trying to get this um, actuator going. And for me to film me inside the car, uh, Probably doesn't happen that well. And also, it was reveal day on Jolene's chassis. We don't want to take nothing from that. Do you want to give away a hat or shirt? Let's give away a hat or a shirt. She's happy with it. Very happy. Hope, hopefully, this, this stays going. The Motorama Custom Car and Motorsports Expo, March 11th, 12th, and 13th. www.motoramashow.com .motor, is where you get your tickets. Cross your fingers that it's still going. And... Uh, We'll be there three days and come, come meet us. Come talk to us. Um, 
<clears throat> we are there for the average people that want to build a car. And basically, that's what we do. We show you us building a car um, for the cheapest, re most reasonable amount of money that you can. I think we also show that it does not take the garage to build a car or many tools. Um, if you watch me on my hands and knees with a grinder and a, and a, and a welder and, and I go for it, Jolene's out here every day filming me, so uh, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. 540 comments. Yes, I must thank everybody for the nice comments. We had a, we had a, yeah, we, did, I don't know what to say. I just want to let everybody know that I am just showing my process, mine and Jolene's process, how to build a car, uh, just so you can take what we're doing and say, I can do it too, basically. Um, we're using basic tools. Uh, we're getting a bang up. We're, we're satisfying ourselves. We're making ourselves happy with the product that we're putting out. Uh, we don't have to, we're not pleased, trying to please anybody else right at the present moment. I'm trying to please my, my Jolene, my very lovely. And basically that's what's happening. And we're showing you as we do it, that you can do it. And you do not need what you think you need to build a car. So don't let it hold you back because you haven't got this great big giant tool in the corner that um, does something that you probably don't even understand anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, for me, um, the less tools I need, um, the things I have in the dooryard, um, the cheapest paint, the cheapest paint gun is where I'm at because I know that when you build a car and the money starts piling up, the project gets not very, it doesn't, it's not appealing anymore when you're spending a bunch of money to get something that try to make you happy. Um, money does not make a person happy. And I know that for sure because um, there's been times I've had no money and I still can be happy. So the less money you spend um, to build something and have fun, you must understand that how much enjoyment that me and Jolene get out of that when we're not, you know, um, hurting ourselves or stressing ourselves out about where we're going to eat tomorrow <laughs> because that we're building a car. Uh, we're building something so reasonable that it makes us happy. Who's won a hat or shirt? Matt Cassano, Cassani? Matt, Matt Cassani. I have to look towards Jolene and see if I get this red bright because sometimes I don't know. Wow, that chassis looks amazing. I had no idea it was going to look so cool. Well, thank you very much, Matt. We appreciate it. But, like, you know, as we're, as we're doing it, it's a process. And until the end of the process, you, know, you don't know until, you, until it's done. I basically know where I'm going with it, but for everybody watching or anybody who's never done it before, I understand that you, like, you, you, know, you can't see it or whatever, but yes, I, I appreciate it. We use Windex to wipe it down. We use Spray 9 for wax and grease remover. We use four pieces of sandpaper, 40, 80, 220, and 400. We use one, one primer. We use uh, two grinders and a welder uh, to make a Bugatti chassis. Think about that. If we can do it, you can do it. Have a good one, everybody.